Uh, bus, train station, and the airport. Listen, if Fax Newman is spotted, he's to be detained for questioning. That's right. And listen, Sergeant, one more thing. The suspect is to be considered armed and dangerous. If this guy is our killer, we have to stop him right now. Yeah, come in. Captain, I'm leaving now. I'm going to the Korea State Hotel Frankie's memorial service. Will you please give Cass my condolences? I wish that I could tell him that we've apprehended facts. So do I. This might not be of much help, but I am very confident that Newman hasn't left Bay City yet. Yeah, but Captain, even if we do get facts, we need proof to book him for these murders. And so far, we don't have that. That's true. But thanks to Frankie, we will have. Hello there. Dr. Winthrop, what the hell are you doing in my office? service make you think of Lucas? Oh, you know it is. Everyone you go to reminds you of all the others. Actually, I was thinking about Cass. What's ahead for him? And I... I was thinking about when I got this. Yeah. It's lovely. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Frankie gave it to me when I became Charlie's godmother. Oh, John. I hope I can do it. Help Charlie know who her mother really was. Of course you can. That's why they picked you. like family. You ready to go? Yeah. Are you sure you're up to this? Yes. I promised Paulina that if she stayed home and helped Dante recover from his cold, that I would, that I wouldn't leave you alone. So if I'm not going to be alone, Frankie, I have a lot of friends. And you know Nick and Maggie are going to be there. I don't care. Joe, I have to be there. Not only for Frankie, but for you. Sophia. Joe, I mean it. I don't want anyone keeping me away. No one's going to keep me away. I mean, this is a time for remembering Frankie and, and for us to be together and to be grateful that we still have each other. Charlie, are you ready? of this. 
How dare you go through my personnel files? Yeah, I had an emergency that I had to answer to, and I didn't have time to ask. Really? And what were you doing with Fax Newman's file? I know he's not on your A-list. Well, I didn't think that it was beyond my bounds to check Excuse me? Invading my private office and snooping through my records is not part of your job description. You'll have to do a lot better than that, Doctor. And if I find that this intrusion has some malicious motive... Oh, no, it does you... not. I promise you that. Good. I'm still waiting for that explanation. I'm happy to give it to you. Although, I'm in a rush. I have to get to my sister-in-law's memorial No, service. what were you doing here? I find this a very serious matter. Uh, what? Excuse me. Sorry to interrupt, Doc, but we got kind of an emergency, an electrical emergency. Uh, can't this wait, Mr. Reno? Sure. If you don't want the lights on at the opening tonight. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Now you're perfect. That's what Mommy used to say. I remember. This was her very favorite dress. I know, sweetheart. I know. Today we're, uh... Today we're remembering Mommy. But we'll never forget her, will we? Ready? Cass is spreading Frankie's ashes over her favorite spot, Hammond Hill. He wanted to do it alone. Oh, John, I don't know. I don't think this is ever enough. We come together and we say a few words. I mean, how do you sum up somebody's life, especially somebody like Frankie? We don't. But what we can do is to make Cass and Charlie feel a little less alone and let them know how loved Frankie was. You're right. I'm just missing her a lot right now. Sad day. Yeah, it's too sad. I brought the uh, the family Bible. You know, mom used to bring it to, to weddings and funerals oh, and stuff like that. Yeah. Did you get a chance to make those copies of the passages? I certainly did. Yeah. Can I Thank you, Michael. Well, I remember the sitting on the sideboard in the dining room when we were growing up. Yeah, you know, this is uh, at least a hundred years old. Mm. Well, it looks like it's been well read. Oh yeah. Mom, Christmas Eve, and they wrapped him in swaddling clothes. <laughs> we never could figure out what swaddling meant. <laughs> Dad spilled booze all over it. That's why the pages are rippled and it's got little stains on it. Can I see it? Sure. Yeah. Jeremiah, who's that? Was, uh, Jeremiah was a farmer. He was killed in the Civil War. Uh, look at this. And Enoch, these people had names. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, most of the, uh, the, the family was... Uh, Farmers, I mean, except for Jacob. Jacob was a riverboat uh, uh, captain, I think, actually. I think a riverboat gambler would be more accurate. Jacob, yeah, probably. right here. Jacob shot dead. And look at all these babies who never grew up to... And look, here you are. And Marley, Stephen, Kirkland. Mm -hmm. Speaking of babies... Hey. Hi. What are you guys looking at? This is old family Bible. We certainly have some desperados in this family, brother. Mm -hmm. Desperados? <laughs> and Thalen. We're actually related to these criminals? <laughs> I well, beg your pardon? <laughs> what difference does it make? Hey, that's, that's, that's our family tree in here. I mean, all the generations for, for quite some time are in here, you know. And history and, well, a sense of history in your family is really important. As a matter of fact, uh, I think... Uh, this calls for adding a, a certain Nicholas to uh, the family Bible uh, here. Yeah, I'd like that. Good. Nicholas. Cherry. Hudson. I think we should make that official now, too. Okay, good. Hudson. Am I early? 
Joe's parking the car. No, Sophia. Come on in, honey. We're just going over some family business. How would you like to read a passage in the service? Okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Michael was just writing names in their family Bible. I think it's time to have my name, Nick. Right where it says wife? No. We're not going to write anything else. You're right. We have to get ready for the service, and we have plenty of time for adding names. And our baby should be next. I'm so happy that he or she's going to be born into such a huge and wonderful family. Uh, Nick, why don't you sit with me? Yeah. And uh, for the record, I never put Grant's name in the book either. I'm sure that you recognize this passage from Ecclesiastes, don't you? Yes. It's, it's beautiful. It is, isn't it? Yes. Felicia, do you want us to read this out loud? Yes, uh, just one line each, I thought. Okay. Hey. Oh, Rachel, oh, God, you're here. Mm. Thank Hi. you again yeah. for letting us use the Cory Chapel. Oh, Hi, it seemed only right. If only Frankie had made it here the other night, or the men house. I know. Or if we at least heard her. Hey, you can't blame yourself. No, you can't. of course not. Well, what can I do to help? Oh, you can help me pass okay. out the flowers. How you doing? Okay, considering. Hmm, it must be pretty rough with uh, Maggie right there. You probably want to throw something at her. Yeah, I bet she'd enjoy the attention. Is Charlene coming? I don't think she knows yet, Tomas. Still? Yeah. Hey, John. Hey, John. Oh, it's Tomas. Hey, John. I was just thinking about those times where uh, when Frank and Charlene would sit in the kitchen, they would just talk about everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really worried about what this is going to do to Charlene and John. I mean, especially since, you know, you guys aren't together anymore. And... Yes. It's Tomas. Hi, Charlie. Hey. Hey, you. Oh, did you help your daddy dress this morning? Are you kidding? She even picked up my tie. Oh, you did. You want me to take you where you're going to sit? Okay. Come on. How about right here, Charlie? Okay, right here next to Daddy? Correct. I love you. You okay? Mm hmm Okay. I'm glad you picked this one. This is good. It's going to be very simple, just like you wanted. Thank you. I'm Amanda and Allie send their love. Thank you, Rachel. What about Frankie's family? I, I was sure that Evan would be here. Uh, well, her mother um, is having a memorial service in Chadwell, and uh, she's not well enough to make this trip, so I think Evan wanted to be there for her and to be with the rest of the family in Oklahoma. Good, listen, check for tracks. All right, let's get some dogs out there right away, and I want a warrant to impound the car ASAP. Good work, Adams. Just found Fax's car out in the woods. Abandoned. Was, was it anywhere near the Cory estate? No, out by the reservoir. Well, maybe something in Fax's car will help us link him to Frankie and the others. Well, let's just hope this is the brick we've been waiting for. Okay. I know, uh, I know this has been really tough on your family. It's that there's no closure, you know? It's not enough to say some crazy guy did it. There's got to be a reason. You want to know why and how and who. I mean, couldn't he have just taken that necklace? Did he have to kill her? 
Frankie must have been on to him. She got too close. So he had to get rid of her? You know, I didn't know Frankie very well. But she was a class act all the way around. You know, she wouldn't even take a dime for helping us with this case. <laughs> yeah, that's Frankie. She really taught me how to be a better person. To do things for the right reasons, you know, karma and all that. See, Frankie believed that what goes around comes around. That what you run from is going to catch up to you someday. Well, let's hope Frankie was right. And let's hope Sinclair finds out exactly what Fax Newman was running from in Chicago. Yeah, well, we already know that it was Margaret Banning. That's the reason that Blair was blackmailing Fax. Now Gary just has to find out why. Yes? Are you Fred Banning? Yes, I am. I'm Gary Sinclair. It's uh, Bay City Police Department. Yes, I uh, got your call. Bay City, you say? Yes, sir. May I come in? Thank you. We haven't lived in Bay City in several years. Yes, I know that. Uh, I need to ask you a few questions about your wife's death. I don't understand. My wife died in I Chicago. Know that, sir. Is that her? Yeah. It's taken a few weeks before she died. Thank you. She's beautiful. I understand that her passing was unexpected. You're damn right it was unexpected. Never should have happened. She went in for routine surgery and died on the table. She was butchered by a quack resident. Is that resident Fax Newman? Let us pray that Frankie's spirit will live on among us. Amen. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. Frankie shared the very best of herself in good times and in bad. She taught all of us how to keep hope alive. Look into my I will miss her always. You will see what you mean to me. Search your heart. I take you, Cass, to be my lawfully wedded husband, my friend for life, my inspiration and my spiritual partner.
time to love. And time to hate. And time for war. And time for peace. Those of us left behind will take care of the hating and the wars, Frankie. You only have love and peace now. God bless your sweet soul. these wonderful people in here. Because of these people, Mummy is surrounded by love and good thoughts. Newman. Yes, sir. No, that's not it. Wait a minute. Are you absolutely sure? We believe that he was a doctor at the hospital when your wife was killed. Officer, look. I think I can remember the man who killed my wife. I tried to go after him myself, but uh, he left the country. I mean, he just flew the coop. I mean, he thought he was going to be investigated. I mean, he just sort of disappeared. And you didn't hear of him practicing anywhere else? I mean, how could he? But he was a slick piece of work. I mean, he knew I was going to bring charges of uh, criminal negligence against him, and uh, he had his license revoked. Do you remember his name? <laughs> Dr. Newton Fairchild. Maybe that's why you got him confused. No, I mean, no, 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 no. Listen, Newton Fairchild, Fax Newman. <sighs> My God, man, he changed his name. Please stand for a moment, silent prayer. Let us join our hands and our hearts. We send our love as Frankie continues on her spiritual journey. you expressed and for appreciating what a fine woman Frankie was it means so much to Charlie and me and now there's something that I have to ask you to do 
I think most of you know that tonight there's a fundraiser to celebrate the opening of the new trauma unit. Please be there. Don't let what we've done here this afternoon keep you from going. Frankie wouldn't want that, and neither do I. We have to continue to champion the positive in life, in this war against the negative. And that's what we good people have to be, warriors. I think we all know what kind of warrior Frankie was. It's important to continue to do all of the good things that make us who we are. to know that Charlie and I will continue to need you very much. We're so grateful to you. Thanks for What did you find, Doctor? I wanted to read a Madison's file. I got a copy of Fax's resume. I'm going to check every single reference on there and hopefully I'll uncover some lies. Good. Good. Did you get Fax's voice on tape? Yeah. Great. Thanks, Morgan. Yeah. I'm going to talk to my brother. Thank, Thank you, Morgan. Morgan. Thanks, Morgan. If Ozzy can recognize this voice as being Fax's, if he can identify this voice as being the man who killed Blair, then we've got him cold. Good. I'm going to go play for him right now. Hey, hey Josie. What? You call me as soon as you find will, anything will, out. And be careful. Okay. Gabe Ozzy barely knows his own name. Listen, I mean, his testimony may not stand up in court. Well, it certainly can't hurt to have it, Joe. We're building a case here. At this point, we can't afford to dismiss anything. Yeah. We do have something concrete. What? We found Fax Newman's car. Has forensics gone through it yet? Yeah, they're doing tests now. If that car has what I think it has... We'll have more than we need. Listen, why don't you go sit on forensics now? Absolutely, I'm on it right now. Thanks. So, listen, I gotta go back to work. Um, what, the stalker? Yeah, something's come up. Uh, listen, I, um, do you want me to drop you off on the way home? No, 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 you go ahead. I'll, I'll find someone to drive me home. Okay, okay. Listen, Cass, you uh, gave me a lot to think about. Thanks. Thank you, Nick. You've been there for me. I appreciate that. You bet. Cass, call me if you need anything, even if it's to play with my Charlie. Well, I think your Charlie would like that. Thanks. <laughs> I'll call you. I'll be there. <laughs> I know. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm. Come on, Nick. I need to take a nap before the party tonight. I just wanted to say that Carl is so sorry he couldn't be here, and he sends all of his love. He was... he's on a business trip in Chicago and couldn't get away. It's nothing serious, I hope. It's uh, complicated. We've been neglecting Corey Publishing, among other things, and we've got to get back on track, so I'm heading out there myself uh, for a few days. Well, I hope it goes well. He was missed. All our thoughts and prayers go with you and, and Charlie, all right? Thanks, Rachel. Thanks for everything. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Do you still miss Mac? Yes. But, darling, it gets easier. It's more manageable somehow. And, and you, it will be for you, too. You've you know? found Carl now. Oh, of course. And I'm so lucky to have found love again. And you know, each love is so unique. One of these days, you'll... What is it? It's too soon. Goodbye, little one. You take care of your daddy, all right? And we love you very much. Safe trip. Yes, I will. See you when I get back. I bet you thought you were going to get out of here quickly, didn't you? <laughs> what was I wrong? <laughs> why? Listen, why don't, uh, why don't you and Charlie have dinner with John and me before the fundraiser? No, no. You have to get ready for tonight anyway. And I think that Charlie needs a little one-on-one -on -one with her old dad, you know? You think so? Yeah, and then I'm going to take her over to Molly's. Oh, over to Molly's. Yeah, it seems that she needs her best friend.
That will mean you'll be all alone. Well, you know I'm going to face that sometime. And it's something that I have to do by myself anyway. Okay. I'll talk to you. Okay. They say genes are made up of these tiny little particles. Tiny little particles. To decide what you're going to look like. What you're going to act like. Be going to the um, fundraiser. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you look uh, very pretty. Thanks. I don't know. Somehow I just don't feel that up to it. Why not? <sighs> I'm very proud of everything my father's done, you know, to get this trauma unit going, and and I want to remember a friend, but I just listen. Um, if I may, what you're doing tonight's real special. It does a lot of good, that place. It does a lot of good for a lot of people. Yeah. Thank you. Well, yeah, that was the general idea. I'm very proud of your father for doing all of this. Oh. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Mr. Hudson. How are you? Good to see you. Hi. Uh, Miss Love. How are you? You uh, almost done here? Yeah, I, I, I'm almost done for the day. You ready? Yeah, just about. Um, I just, uh, I was wondering, are, are you going to this thing? I certainly hope he is. I took the time to send you an invitation. That's not any guarantee. Well, look, uh, I, we'd be celebrating blueprints if it wasn't for you and the gang, so I certainly hope uh, the black tie part isn't going to scare no, you off. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Well, good. I think you should leave and uh, jump into your tux. Okay, Go, I'll be there. <laughs> See you. Yeah. Would you like that for Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. You tell the sheriff I want his men on the street right now. There's nothing covert about this. We're gonna flush Newman out. Hi. Wow. Don't you look spectacular. I wish, uh, I wish I had more time to uh, appreciate you properly. <laughs> Likewise. But we better get going if we want to get there. Unless right. you want to... Captain. Forensics. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. It's just like the way I like it. Cold milk, nice and crunchy, with a banana thrown in to take the edge off. Yeah. And I didn't have to add any sugar. Mm -hmm. That's um. That that's great, Ozzy. Uh, I mm -hmm. won't be needing that particular bit of information for the story, but uh, thanks oh. anyway. Oh. Well, I'll get it. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, no. Oh. You stay put. I'll get this. Ozzy, you gotta hear this. We're on the yellow line with the latest back to school fashions from Kayla. Eric is stunning in his $12.99 high top that won't mark floors. Say goodbye to you. At least for this time around. When I close my eyes, I can see you surrounded by a white light. And I hold you in my heart like that. And I give you all my love. You wait for me. 
Because when I'm finished here on this earth, when it's my time, I'm coming to you. And then we'll be together forever. I've been put on hold twice now. I'm waiting for information on a, a doctor who used to be on your staff, a Dr. Fax Newman. And it's very important I get this information as soon as possible. Okay, please hold Dr. Winthrop. I'll check the records for you. All right, I know that this is going to be difficult for you, but I believe that Newton Fairchild and Fairfax Newman are the same guy. Well, you really think so? Yes, I do. There's one way to be certain. You look. Find the analysis of the fibers in the Fax's car. Here it is. Ozzy thinks the voice is the same. No. No, can... no Lady Blue. I, I don't want to listen to that man. Please, Ozzy, can you just listen? Oh. Please, just for me, okay? Oh. Ozzy? Well, only for you. Okay. Hey, well, what's the matter? That's him. Everything that happened to my Margaret's going to come back. Okay, I understand. But if it is him, he not only killed your wife, he killed a lot of other people's loved ones. So there are a lot of other people out there just like you. Do you understand me? I need to stop this guy. He needs to be stopped now. You gotta look at this picture. Let me see it. Dr. Winthrop, yeah. I have no file for Fax Newman. But if he had worked there, you would, right? Unless it was before 1940. Uh-huh. Can you double-check that for me, please? I promise you, no Fax Newman ever worked here. Okay. All right, thank you for your help. Bingo. Fiber analysis. What's it Is this what we think? Fibers taken from the bodies of the victims and the fibers taken from the upholstery in Fax Newman's car are a perfect match. That's it. That's it, I got it. That's what Frankie was trying to tell us. She was trying to write an F for facts. Frankie was telling us the name of the murderer. Don't tell me you've forgotten, Doctor. Blair Baker. I couldn't remember treating her. I just found out the reason why. She was suffering from, drum roll please, sinusitis. Oh. She could have gotten this stuff I suggested over the counter. And that's how big a deal it was not, Doctor. Uh, it's, it's him. I know it. It's a whistler. Him. The butcher who killed my wife. Thank you. 